Tesla Powerwall 3. Anchor Solix X1. Which is the better solar and battery system for your home? I'm gonna be answering that question and teaching you all about these two market leading solar battery systems in today's video. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, we're gonna be doing another head-to-head -head solar and battery storage system comparison between the Tesla Powerwall 3 and the new Anchor Solix X1. Now, we're gonna be doing the evaluation in six categories. Each category has a maximum score of five points for a maximum overall score of 30 points. Now, those categories are power, the storage capacity of the battery, uh, of course, the warranty term of the battery, the cost of the battery system and, and the cost to have it installed, the ease of installation. And this is a new category for us this year, but frankly, one that's very, very important because depending on how the battery system is designed could have major impact on the total end cost to the end user depending on what the labor and what the equipment required is to install the battery system. And then finally, what I like to call the X factor. And what the X factor is, is it's a way that I can award additional points to one of the two products where there may not be a direct apples to apples comparison, but where some of those unique features could have major impact for you as a potential system owner. And with that, let's get into the comparison. All right, up first is the Tesla Powerwall 3. Now in terms of power, the Tesla Powerwall 3 provides 11.5 kilowatts of continuous power. Now that's a lot, especially when we're talking about a single battery unit. Uh, 11 and a half kilowatts is gonna be enough to provide a whole house backup for I would estimate 70 to 80% of you that are watching here in the United States. So it's enough power to run heavy loads like central air conditioning, uh, electric water heaters, uh, as well as your normal 120 volt appliances like lighting, refrigerators, microwaves, and home office equipment. Now, in terms of storage capacity, the Powerwall 3 offers 13 and a half kilowatt hours of storage capacity. Uh, Tesla is pretty much stuck with this 13 and a half kilowatt hour level uh, with a number of its battery products, even previous generation battery products. Uh, and again, I think what you'll find with 13 and a half kilowatt hours, that'll be enough to run the critical systems only for about 24 hours. When I say critical systems only, I'm talking about lights, refrigerator, bedrooms, home office. Um, however, if you're looking for a true whole house backup, then most likely you're gonna have to purchase a second battery unit, which would take that up to 27 kilowatt hours of storage capacity. Now, in terms of the warranty, Tesla offers a 10 year warranty. And that's pretty much what we're seeing here in the market right now is that, that 10 years is sort of the standard. There are a couple of batteries out there that offer a slightly longer warranty, but 10 years is what we're seeing standard for a home battery system. And that's where Tesla lands with the Powerwall 3. Now, in terms of cost, the Powerwall is gonna be one of the lower cost battery storage options. It's definitely not the cheapest battery option, especially recently with a lot of these cheap, generic Chinese batteries and other you know, international batteries that have been coming onto the market. Um, but Tesla is definitely gonna be on the lower end of the price spectrum. Uh, and remember, when you're talking about the Powerwall 3, it's not just the battery, but it also serves as the solar inverter as well. So it helps save you some cost on other parts of the system. Now, in terms of ease of installation, I'm going to give the Powerwall 3 three out of five points. Um, and the reason is that although the battery itself is, is pretty heavy, a single battery unit weighs about 300 pounds. So you are gonna have to have a larger crew to install this battery. In some cases, you may have to use a special lift to get the battery lifted up onto the wall bracket. But Tesla did an excellent job with the design of their backup switch, uh, sometimes called the meter collar adapter, which is a device that basically hooks right underneath your electric meter, communicates with the power wall, and allows you to install for whole house backup without having to install a complicated transfer switch or install a complicated critical loads panel. Those are things that can really bog you down as an installer or an electrician. So by simply being able to pop a meter base on or pop a meter collar onto the electric meter, it avoids you having to do any kind of detailed surgery or complex rearranging of circuits within the house which definitely helps with the installation as an installer, also helps to minimize disruption of the home and cutting up your drywall uh, if you're a homeowner. And then finally, I'm gonna give the Powerwall 3 plus two X Factor points uh, for the, the excellent aesthetic of the product. I do think the Powerwall 3 is one of the nicest looking batteries out there, uh, which is just on par with what we expect from Tesla all around. Uh, whether it's the vehicles, the software app. Uh, and that is a nice thing that uh, a lot of folks will comment on is those of you who are Tesla electric vehicle owners, the battery, the solar, your electric vehicle charging, all of it can be viewed and controlled from a single app. 
So this is the Tesla Powerwall 3. All right, up next is the Anchor Solix X1 system. Now, in terms of power, each Anchor Solix X1 power module provides six kilowatts continuous power. Now, if you look at the way the system is broken down, at the top here, you have the power module. So this does your inverter charger function. And then you can have one or more battery storage modules. So for a single power module, you get six kilowatts continuous power. Uh, for those of you who are looking for a whole house configuration, most cases you're gonna be using two power modules. Now, in terms of storage capacity, you can get up to 30 kilowatt hours on a single power module. So that would be a single power module with three battery storage modules stacked underneath with an additional three battery storage modules stacked to the side. So if you're talking about total capacity per power module, it's 30 kilowatt hours. If you're talking about capacity in a single stack, it's going to be 15 kilowatt hours in a single stack. So three of the five kilowatt hour battery modules in the stack. Now in terms of warranty, Anchor Solix X1 offers that standard 10 year warranty. And that really is what we're kind of seeing emerging as the standard for home batteries is that 10 year coverage. Uh, and in terms of cost, I believe you're gonna find the Anchor Solix X1 very competitive in terms of cost, especially as you scale the system up with multiple energy storage modules potentially connected to a single power module. Again, what we're looking at here is total cost per kilowatt hour of the system, not necessarily just cost per battery. So make sure that you look at the fine print there. Now, in terms of ease of installation, I'm going to give Anchor Solix X1 all five ease of installation points. Uh, and, and it's because of the modular stackable architecture. Since no individual component weighs more than 200 pounds, the entire installation can be performed with only two technicians without having to use any special lift equipment. So again, if you're looking at the total installed cost of the system, both for equipment and for labor, the fact that you can do this installation with only two individuals, you don't have to use any forklifts, don't have to use any special lifts, things that can really bog you down, slow you down, or force you to add another crew member to the team, the modular stackable design really helps in this area here. And in terms of X Factor, I'm gonna give the Anchor Solix X1 plus four additional X Factor points. Uh, and it's really for some of the additional features that are available on the platform. Uh, of course, you have the Anchor Solix micro inverters that integrate with the system here. Um, also, you have that generator recharge function. And this is something that I talk about a lot, especially for those of you who are looking at maximum redundancy for a true off-grid application or for surviving a prolonged loss of the electric grid. Having that generator recharge option gives you a third level of protection. So let's say the grid goes down, you, you hit a patch of bad weather, so the solar panels can't keep up with recharging the battery. Well, all you have to do is fire up the generator, run the generator for a few hours, bring your batteries back full, and then you can go back to running off the solar and battery system. So it helps you stretch your generator fuel supply and just gives you that extra level of redundancy. So this is the Anchor Solix X1 system. All right, so if we look at the summary comparison here, for Powerwall 3, we're looking at 11 and a half kilowatts continuous power, storage capacity of 13 and a half kilowatt hours, standard 10 year warranty, middle of the road, perhaps on the lower end in terms of the cost spectrum, plus three points for ease of installation, mainly due to the Tesla meter collar adapter, plus two X factor points. And that's really for the integration with the Tesla app and the nice aesthetic of the battery product as well. Now for Anchor Solix X1, you've got continuous power of six kilowatts. You've got storage capacity up to 30 kilowatt hours connected to a single power module. Uh, of course, for most of you that are gonna do whole house backup, you're gonna use two power modules, each one with three battery storage cells to get to that 30 kilowatt hours. Uh, again, that standard 10 year warranty, middle of the road or cost, cost competitive, right on par with the market, plus five ease of installation points. And this is really where the Anchor Solix system has a big advantage, is by breaking the system down into smaller individual building blocks, the installation can be completed with only two technicians without having to use any expensive or heavy lift equipment. Plus four X Factor points for some of the other capabilities that are available on the Anchor platform, namely the Anchor Solix micro inverters, um, as well as having that generator recharge option 
to give you extra level of protection and redundancy. So if we total it up, Powerwall 3 receives five out of five on power, three out of five on storage capacity, three out of five on warranty. Again, we're kind of all that standard 10 year warranty, four out of five on cost, plus three points for ease of installation, mainly for the Tesla meter collar adapter, plus two X factor points for a total of 20 points. Now for Anchor Solix X1, I'm awarding three out of five for power. Again, it's a, it's a lower power option, but for those wanting whole house backup, just use two power modules. Four out of five for storage capacity, three out of five for warranty, four out of five for cost, plus five points for ease of installation because of that modular stackable design and plus four X factor points for those extra features like the micro inverters and the generator recharge for a total of 23 points. Now again, folks, when we do these battery comparisons, it's not necessarily trying to say, hey, this one brand is better than the other, or this one product is always better than the other, but just give you some things to consider and some things to be aware of as you're navigating through looking for a solar and battery storage system for your home. Uh, by the way, folks, I should mention, we are just about finished with a new product here at Solar Surge. We're gonna be rolling out an online system where you can design, build, and, and even purchase your solar power system 100% online without having, having to ever deal with a salesperson. You can pick what kind of panels you want, what kind of inverters, batteries, everything is very interactive and really puts you in control of the solar sales process. Uh, now, of course, if you're in the process of getting quotes for solar, if maybe you've met with contractors or you haven't met with contractors yet, uh, but if you need to get a price quote, uh, either as an initial or as a comparison, if you already have some quotes that you're considering and you need to make sure that you're getting a good price and getting the right equipment, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below here. You can set up a call with a solar surge expert uh, or just use the free online quote tool so you can see how much solar and battery storage costs in your area. Now, of course, if you're getting good value from the videos that you watch here, make sure you hit that thumbs up button uh, and go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your feed so you can stay up to date with everything. Well, I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.